Welcome to my Blender tutorial series for absolute beginners. If you've never used Blender before, don't worry. This series is designed just for you. By the end, you'll have created your very own 3D robot character from scratch and even animated in an exciting racing scene, all while learning the core fundamentals of Blender. This series is broken down into seven easy to follow parts. This is part one, Blender Basics, We'll go over the interface, navigation, and essential tools. Part two will be modeling. We'll model our robot character step by step. Part three, texturing and materials. We'll use the shader editor to create materials, including the robot's face display. Part four, rigging and animation. We'll set up a simple rig and apply basic animation. Part five, environments and lighting. We'll create a simple scene and set up lighting to make our robot look great. Part six, camera animation. We'll animate a single camera angle using keyframes. And finally, part seven, rendering. We'll go over how to render your final animation using Eevee or Cycles. All right, if you're ready to start your Blender journey and become a 3D artist, let's jump into part one and get started with the basics. Okay, so when you first open up Blender, you're gonna see these three objects in your scene right here. We call this the Blender viewport. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on my camera right here and I'll hit X to delete it. I'll click on the lights, hit X to delete it. We're not gonna be using those objects right now, but we can always bring them back later. For now, I'm gonna be using the default cube to demonstrate everything. By the way, on the bottom left, you'll be able to see my keyboard shortcuts so you'll know what I'm clicking or pressing on my keyboard throughout the tutorial. For starters, I'm gonna show you how to orbit around your scene. So to orbit, we can click on our middle mouse button like this, and then we can just orbit around our scene to see different angles of our object. You can also use this gizmo located on the top right to do the same thing. Just click, and then you can start orbiting around your object. To move side to side or up and down, you can hold shift on your keyboard, and then again, hold the middle mouse button, and then you can click and drag, click, drag. Click, drag, side to side. You can also go up and down. Hold shift and then middle mouse button and then you can click and drag. Oh, and by the way, if for some reason you somehow get lost in the Blender viewport, you can just go and select your object in the scene collection right here. So I'll select the cube and then you can go to view and just click on home, which will take you back to your object and it will also reset the zoom. We can also go into top view by clicking on the Z axis right here, which will take us into top view, giving us this flat perspective right here. To go into front view, we can click on the minus Y axis, which will take us to the front view. If you wanna to go to the side view, you can click on the X axis right here, which is the side view. Now, if you wanna move out of this flat perspective, just click and hold on your middle mouse button to orbit around your scene. Alternatively, you can also toggle between each of these views by using the number pad on your keyboard. To go into top view, you can press seven on your number pad, which will take you to top view. You can press one on your number pad, which is now the front view, three on your number pad to go into the side view. We'll be using the front view to model our robots in part two. Okay, next I wanna show you how to move your objects in your scene. So to do that, we're gonna be using the tools on the left side right here. Here you can click on the move tool and then you can start moving your objects on each of the axes. For example, if you wanna move your object on the Y axis, just click on this arrow right here and start moving your object. If you wanna move it on the X axis, you can click on the red arrow and move it on the X axis. And if you wanna move it up and down, you can click on the blue arrow right here and move it on the Z axis like this. I'm gonna hit Control Z to put it back in place. Now, if you wanna rotate your object, you can use the rotate tool right here. And again, you can rotate the object on the Z axis like this, or on the Y axis, or even on the X axis. If you wanna move it freely, you can just click on the middle right here, and you can start moving or rotating it freely on all the axes. Finally, we have the scale tool right here, same concept, if you wanna scale it on the Y axis, you use the green arrow right here. If you wanna scale it on the X axis, 
you can use the red arrow like this. And if you want to scale it on the Z axis, you can use the blue arrow. If you want to scale on all three axes at the same time, you can just click on this white circle here and it'll scale on all three. Once you get comfortable using Blender, instead of clicking on these tools manually, you can just use keyboard shortcuts. So for example, if you want to scale your object, instead of clicking on the tool manually, you can just hit S to scale it. But again, that's when you get comfortable. For now, using the tools over here is just fine. Let's go ahead and use the move tool here. Now when moving your objects, if you want more precise movements, you can click on this magnet here to turn on the snapping tool. Now when you move your objects on any of the axes, it'll be more precise snapping into place. So let's go ahead and just move it up like this. And we can go into the front view like this, and we can just make sure it's directly above the X axis. Now let's move on to the two main modes that you're going to be using in the Blender software. The first mode is object mode, which is the mode we're currently in. But if you want to further edit your object, you can go into edit mode like this. Now you're in edit mode. Alternatively, you can also go back into object mode. And if you want to switch between each mode easily, you can just click tab on your keyboard, which will take you into edit mode. And if you want to go back into object mode, you can just hit tab to go back into object mode. As you continue to use Blender, you're going to be doing this a lot, switching back and forth between object mode and edit mode. Okay, so now that we're in edit mode, I'll go over the three select modes that we'll be using. The first mode is the vertex select mode, which will allow you to select each of these vertices here and manipulate them. So for example, if you want to select this vertice here, and then you can use the move tool and you can start manipulating it like this. You can also turn off the snapping tool. You can orbit around your object and just mess with the vertices like this. The next selection tool is the edge select tool. And this allows you to select these edges right here. And again, you can manipulate them. Okay, I'll hit control Z to put it back in place. The final select mode is the face select mode, which is what I use the most. You can select each individual face here and you can manipulate it. You will also notice that you have access to a lot more tools in edit mode. As a beginner, you only need to know these four tools right here. Let's start with the extrude tool. If you click on the extrude tool and then click on any one of these faces, for example, the top face like this, you can click and add in new geometry extruding the face upwards. And you can keep doing that as many times as you like for each face. The next tool is the inset faces tool, which allows you to make smaller faces within a face. So for example, with this face selected, I can click like this and add in a new smaller face. And then I can go back to the extrude tool and then extrude another face upwards. And you can keep doing this to make sort of a building. So I can go back to the inset faces tool and I can select this top face here and make a smaller face, go back to the extrude tool and then extrude upwards, forming some sort of building. The third tool is this bevel tool right here, which allows you to round off the edges of your object. So for example, let's choose this top face right here. And with the bevel tool selected, we can just click on this yellow right here, click and drag, which will round off the edges. The bevel tool is great because in reality, edges are not razor sharp like this. They're usually rounded off like this or a little bit. Finally, we have the loop cut tool, which lets you add more geometry for more detail. So let's click and add a loop cut like this. Once it's added, you can go and use the vertex select mode and then, you know what you can do? You can hit S on your keyboard to scale it. And again, you can also add a loop cut like this. Then you can go into face select mode, go back to the extrude tool, select this face, and maybe make a new face like this. Once you're happy with how you've edited your object, you can hit tab to go back into object mode. Okay, let's go ahead and delete this object by hitting X and then delete object. 
For the final section of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add in new objects into your scene. To do that, we're going to be using the keyboard shortcut Shift plus A, which will bring up this menu right here. Don't worry about any of this. All we're going to focus on is this mesh section right here, which has all these different primitive objects. Let's go ahead and add in our first object, which is this plane. Now, if you want to reset your Blender view, you can just make sure you have your object selected right here and then go to view. And then we can just go to frame all, which is home. That'll reset the view and the zoom. This is a plane object, which is just a flat 2D object. We can go ahead and turn on the snapping tool and just move it to the side right here. We can hit shift A again to add in another object. The next object we can add in is our cube. Again, we can move it up and we'll move it to the side like this. Next, we can add in another object by hitting shift A, mesh. I'm gonna skip the circle because I don't really use it that often. We'll use the UV sphere. Bring it up, shift A. Again, we'll add in a icosphere. Drag it up, we'll move it to the side. Shift A, add in a cylinder, another object that I like to use a lot for modeling. Shift A, we'll add in a cone. I don't really use the cone that often. Finally, Shift A, add in a torus. This object I do use. And that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and select any one of these objects and just start moving them around the viewport, getting used to the navigation system and everything that I've taught you. You can even go into edit mode and start manipulating the objects like I've showed you. All right, if you're excited to start your Blender journey with me and become a 3D artist, hit that like button right now and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. See you all in part two where we will begin modeling our robot.